What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 213 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. The whole point of the series, and this week we're gonna have like a cozy kind of addition, some nice chill setups. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But we'll start it off now, episode 213. All right, first batter is Jason S. And he's coming in with that stacked monitor setup. Always loving these. And lots of warm tones going on. That's, you know, a, that's a cozy thing. And just jumping right into it, his primary display is an LG 34 inch with that stacked overhead being a 24 inch from Asus. And it's seemingly attached to a different bracket because it is, you know, suspended pretty highly up and just a little bit behind that monitor, but still working out at that big old window there. Nice natural light. Getting into some of the gear now, those speakers you could see on each side of the ultra wide are the Logitech Z150 multimedia speakers. And for his main peripherals, we have the Razer Sinosa Chroma keyboard with the Razer Viper mini mouse. And then those, uh, a pair of headphones right there, the Skull Candy Venue ANC wireless. And yes, some plants for some extra bonus points. Now rolling over to the PC, this is the Thermaltake C23 RGB case inside an AMD Ryzen 5 2600 CPU with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo cooler. Got 16 gigs of G-Skill Aegis or Aegis RAM, I never know how to say it, who says that word anyways. With the Asus ROG Strix B450F motherboard and the EVGA GTX 1060 for the GPU. And obviously with those green RGB fans, the lights inside, all go into a green kind of theme. So whether it's the color of the wallpaper, maybe it's even the color grading of these photos, it just feels very cozy to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I look at this and I feel like sitting down here with a cup of coffee or some hot cocoa on a nice like winter day and you would just, you know, feel all warm. That's the kind of cozy feeling I'm getting. Next up we have Liam. And this one, you guys are starting to see a trend. I like plants in a setup. It just takes it to a different level. It brings life into it even as far as into the wallpaper, and it's still gonna look good like we have here. But I mean, it has been 213 episodes by now. I assume you know that about me and my ways. So for these two Tetra-shaped monitor setup, the primary is an AOC 27 inch at 144 hertz, with the vertical monitor on the left side being an ASUS 24 inch display. And you can see under that display, it's kept up by a single monitor arm right there. And then moving on down to the peripherals, a nice wireless black and white theme going on for the gear and fitting in with a Panda uh, Varmillo extended desk mat. For the keyboard, it is the Vortex Tab 60 with Logitech G305. And for audio, basking in the light of those Danali Ferrara light panels are the Sennheiser HD 58X Jubilee open back headphones. Now, over to the PC and just thriving in the Ivy. It's like a shot straight from Animal Planet. We have the NZXT H500 case with our AMD Ryzen 5 2600 CPU and the Shark Gaming Blood Freezer AIO. That's a name for you. 16 gigs of Crucial Ballistic Sport LT RAM on an Asus ROG Strix B450F gaming motherboard with an Asus RTX 2060 dual GPU. And just throwing in this shot here, a nice collectible lightsaber on display, looking pretty nice as well. So again, let's identify what makes this cozy. Is it the natural wooden desk? Possibly. Is it possibly the huge window for all that ambient lighting? Maybe. Is it the, the plants, like I mentioned? Probably. And that warm, warm light bulb? You'd factor all that in, and what does it do? It makes you cozy. It's a chill setup. This is what I'm loving. Speaking of love, have you ever seen something like Bassy has here? This is a hell of a setup, and guess what guys? It's got plants, and that's what's up. If I leave any legacy in this world, I hope it's something related to improving desk setups and just giving a home for all the succulents on a desk setup. 
So I'm really digging this monitor orientation because the primary one is actually the 34 inch ultra wide with the two on the bottom kind of being like an under kind of glance display, you know? And then here he could switch it up with all the lighting and make the setup look really cool, but it still all ties together. So for that primary, it's a 34 inch from LG and the bottom two are each 25 inch models from LG. Got a lot of gear for the peripherals, including the Normia Rita keyboard with Logitech MX Master 2S mouse, a way Wacom Intuos M tablet with the Korg Nano Control 2. For audio, his headphones are the Skull Candy Crusher Wireless. And also, you might have seen in previous photos, his speakers. Those are the Heiser HSR 120. Then over to the PC, this case is the Anades AI Crystal Cube AR case with a Ryzen Threadripper 1950X CPU with a Noctua NHU14S cooler. 32 gigs of Crucial Ballistic Sport RAM on an MSI X399 SLI Plus motherboard and two graphics cards. We have a Gigabyte GTX 1080 Ti and a Gigabyte GTX 1070 Ti inside. But playing off the colors of the Noctua fan with some sort of like bronze and black uh, braided cables there and it looks pretty good. So one thing that's really interesting that he did is with that top display, he has it on its own dedicated arm that can completely just detach from his main setup and fold over to the left side where he has his bed. So he can just lounge back, watch some movies, game on here, and really just chill with a nice display right in front of him. So I am just loving this one. Yes, the plants definitely help out a lot, but I love the monitor orientation. I love just the flow, all the colors he has, and that in the daytime when it's all natural, it's looking just as good. Kicking it nice and simple, we have Johannes. And this one here, I think is, I can't really tell if it's like a bedroom or an office space because it's laid out pretty unique. And uh, it works though, don't get me wrong. The nice wooden floors, the wooden ceiling even, definitely cozy keyword for today. He's going with the single monitor, which is a 27 inch uh, 4K. It's the E-Line from Philips. And I just want to take a second to point something out. Those Kermit prints he has above the monitor. What's the main color there? Green. What else does he have going on in the setup? The green plants and the green in the wallpaper with it literally being this serene country road with the plants, the trees. You see what I'm saying, guys. So for the gear, those speakers are the Logitech Z625 THX with the Delta Co TB631 wireless keyboard and Logitech MX Master Mouse, so two primary wireless peripherals. And then for the PC, the Fractal Meshify C tempered glass case. Always love what uh, Fractal's doing. Inside's a Ryzen 9 3900X CPU with the Scythe Ninja 5 cooler. 64 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM on a Gigabyte X570 Aorus Pro motherboard and an MSI RTX 2070 Super Gaming X graphics card. I'm digging this overhead shot, I'm digging the desk, and I'm digging this setup all around. Good stuff here from Johannes. You can see him getting some work done there, editing some videos. Good stuff. And then last but not least, we have I like to read books. With a very bright and saturated salt lamp that is seemingly contributing to the very warm feel of everything. I don't know if it's just very saturated photos, but that desk is popping out as well. Which, you know, again, it's going to contribute to the cozy, warm feel. So for the display, it's the Spectre Pro 34 inch ultra wide. And for his peripherals, he has the RK61 keyboard. He put on some YMDK carbon keycaps, again, to touch on some of the, the orange, little accents in there, as you can see, with the Logitech G402 mouse. And for the PC, we have the Cooler Master MS600 case. Inside the Ryzen 5 3400 CPU with the Hunt Key RAM, eight gigs of Hunt Key. RAM. I've never heard of Hunt Key, but that's okay. There's plenty of different companies. And uh, all right, uh, the Tough B450M Plus gaming motherboard with an Asus Strix RTX 2070 GPU. Vertically mounted RGB all synced to orange, which will match his personal sun that he's captured yet again with that salt lamp. Man, this thing is must got some like 
real ass crystals in here, harnessing the power of the earth from its core. So again, I like to read books is the name, and I was contemplating maybe like saving this for a clean and minimal edition, but ultimately because of that warm ass lamp and the desk, it felt more cozy to me. That's the overall takeaway guys, some little cozy tips for your setup. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 213 of Room Tour Project. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget, check the links in the description down below for all the gear and hardware you saw, plus some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup. If you want to be possibly considered being a future episode, check the description down below for it all. But if you like this one, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at randomfrankp. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.